Push, 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 yes! Yes! Takashi wins! Oh, that man! Generic man, and he is a two times champion! Formula E's fifth season has just wrapped up, and it's been the most exciting. Takashi's oh. in the wall! Evans is in the wall! Unpredictable. And then! Dramatic. This is wrong. And enthralling yet. With the championship going right down to the wire. The season started out with the launch of the brand new all-electric Gen 2 cars. Equipped with a battery that is twice as big and that would, for the first time, last the full race. Not only does it have a bigger capacity, it's also more powerful, pushing the carbon beasts to 280 kilometers per hour. As well as new cars, we've had new teams, new drivers, new tracks, and a brand new racing format with the revolutionary attack mode, adding an innovative strategic twist and mixing up the racing even further. The 11 teams and 22 drivers race through the streets of 12 iconic cities across five continents. 13 incredible races later, season five has been a hell of a ride. It all started in Saudi Arabia. And we go green in Abdiria, and it's victory for the Costa and BMW. Mystical Marrakesh provided action. The Costa's in the wall and the lead is gone. What on earth has gone on? Uh, 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 win for Mahindra. I love you, guys. Then the championship heated up in Santiago. Oh, oh he's in. Sam Bird, who's going to take victory? Mexico next, and there was no shortage of drama. Push, 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 yes, yes! Takashi wins! Oh, that race! Hong Kong brought controversy. Oh, the lottery has got damage! Flat tire! Disqualification for Bird promoted Mortara to his first win. And Sanya saw the champions return. Bird leads in Sanya! Back in Europe, Jaguar took the battle to Rome. Evans is in the lead of the race. Roman! Then it was carnage on the streets of Paris. Robin Flights wins in Paris. Well done, mate. Marvelous Monaco shook up the championship. Van wins for the second time. <laughs> and Berlin brought home a win for Audi. Lucas Degrassi wins. <laughs> A battle in Bern put pressure on Bern. And we got a traffic jam. And there's the win for Sean Eric Bern and Diaz to Cheetah. And the final weekend in New York was non stop drama. Sebastian Buemi with his first win of the season for Robin Freitz to take the victory. But here comes Sean Eric Bern, and he is a two times champion. On this week's show, we'll be checking out the ABB Formula E End of Season Awards, which is held at a special event in New York straight after the final race. Hosted by Formula E commentator Jack Nichols and presenter Saunders Carmichael Brown. Congratulations to everyone, five seasons. What we've done is we've enlarged the team, we got more talent, we're gonna have a better Formula E and we're going to make the ABB Formula E the biggest championship in the world. Thank you. The evening is a great ending to the season and a chance for everyone to brush up, get glamorous, and soak up the best of the year's action. So let's get straight into the first award. Ever since its inception in 2014, one of Formula E's key goals has been to accelerate the battle against global warming. In the five years since, electric vehicle development has advanced in a big way, and we're now seeing more and more electric cars on our streets from the biggest manufacturers in the game. Formula E wanted to reward the team who's done the most this year towards changing perceptions and pushing the boundaries against the fight against climate change. It's the Formula E Climate Champion Award. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Panasonic Jaguar Racing. For the first time this season, Formula E had a supporting racing series. 
the Jaguar I-PACE E-Trophy. The world's first all-electric production-based international race championship. 20 identical cars did battle over 10 rounds across the globe, providing a fantastic spectacle for the crowd and changing people's perceptions of what electric cars can do. We love seeing more electric cars on the streets, and it's even better when they're racing. Congratulations to the Jaguar team for that fantastic achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, Panasonic Jaguar Racing, represented here by uh, James Barkley. Next up, let's take a look at the wildest moments from the year. This season was one of the craziest we've ever seen, with plenty of amazing racing and unbelievable action. This next award is for the best wow moment. And with the season full of these, it was hard to choose just one from an incredible bunch. Got airborne. That's a big hit. I'm okay, I'm okay. And oh, oh that's gone right. right! They nudge, they nudge! Oh, and Lockjaw's got damage! Tire. He's out of the battle for the lead, and Sam Bird is in front! And now Fries goes for Lynn, not into the back! Through he goes! Bold stuff from Robin Fries. Reduce grip every rain. Look out, here comes Roland. Bam! From George Mappel Oliver. Oh, there's a late one from Vern up the inside. This time on Daniel Apt. Jean-Eric Vern sending it up the inside of the Costa. That's how he got through into third place. Degrassi goes for it! Fairline covers! Come on! Who's going to win it. the Mexico City E3? He's defending like an absolute demon! <laughs> Out of the final corner! Zero. Is it is zero. zero! Degrassi wins! Oh, that race! Oh, man, I never had so much adrenaline! Woo! Fries is in the wall and facing backwards! And we've got a traffic jam! There was a line to see the order. The start to finish line. I never saw that in my life, man. This is wrong. No, it's correct. This is completely wrong. And he's going to show him the door. Nicely defended. And that's going to allow the other BMW of Antonio Felix Agosta to get in the fight. Ab tries to shut him out of the way. And through goes Mitch, Mitch Evans. Evans. What a pass. <laughs> there goes Evans. That was a late move by Sims to defend. And he's got through. Yes. Evans is pretty happy about that. P2, mate. What a race. So the winner is Lucas Degrassi for that phenomenal last lap win in Mexico City. Well deserved, Lucas. That really was an incredible moment. Now, the Drivers' Championship may be the biggest prize of the season, but the team's title is right behind it, combining the points from both of the two cars fielded by each team. It was an incredibly competitive grid this season, with eight of the 11 teams taking a race win. No one dominated in the campaign, and it came down to the last race that Diaz Tachita just held off reigning champions Audi Sport to take their first ever team's championship. In first place, with a total of three wins, seven podiums, and a whopping 222 points, it is, of course, Diaz Tachita.
2018-19 Formula E begins now. What a move from Jean-Éric Verne. Just fantastic. Verne gets it done. And we go green in Marrakech. Here comes Lotterer up the inside of Daniela. They nudge, they nudge. Lotterer's got a puncture. He's out of the race. Van! Van wins in Sanya. <laughs> we go green in Rome. Lotterer across the line in second. Andre Lotterer, another second place. Van wins for the second time this season in Formula E. <laughs> That's it, baby. And we go green in Berlin. Slices back through and goes up the inside of Paffitt. This time up the inside of De Costa. That's how he got through into third place. It's pole position for Jean Eric Byrne. And we go green in Byrne. There's the win for Jean Eric Byrne and T.S. Chichita. <laughs> Out of the final corner now. And he is a two times Formula E champion. We have done it again. We have done it again. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jeff. We have done it again. Drivers' champions and teams' champions, Diaz Tachita and Jean-Eric Van. Gentlemen, once again, Diaz Tachita. All the teams from the Formula E paddock are very active on social media and here on Street Racers we bring you the best of it. From street art to culinary challenges, environmental projects to musical experiences, we're there every step of the way. This is the award for the team that has gone the extra mile and delivered the best piece of social content. And the winner is Mahindra Racing. Scooping the award was Indian automotive giant Mahindra Racing for its unique campaign which sparked Bollywood fever in the Formula E paddock. The awesome film featured team drivers Jerome D'Ambrosio and Nick Heidfeld showing off their dancing and acting skills on a real Mumbai film set. If you look at India, we always associate ourselves with Bollywood, right? So Nick and Jerome visited India and we had a few hours in enhance, we said, well, what do we do now in Mumbai? So we said, okay, let's go to try and do something in Bollywood. And I think Jerome and Nick were very uncomfortable, and I really enjoyed their discomfort. Those guys didn't know what they were getting into, but then being uh, professionals, they said, okay, we, we will do it. And then I think they were really happy. The world liked it. Everyone in the paddock enjoyed it, and I think some of the other team principals are going to contribute towards it. But it was good fun. We all played along. I was really afraid of the outcome, but actually it was, it was pretty cool. My Hindra spirit, it's, you know, it's hard working, but let's have some fun also, and, and that was cool. It's amazing here, they are so passionate. Uh, you can see Dilbak's emotion especially, and this is converting to, to everyone in the team. You need to love Dilbak, he's a really nice guy. The best social media activation award goes to Mahindra Racing. Congrats to Mahindra for that great performance. Now behind every great driver is a great engineer, and nowhere is this more true than Formula E. With so many technology and strategy factors coming into play, attack mode, energy use, battery temperatures, it's as much a battle for the engineers as it is for the drivers. This award is to recognize some of the brains behind the scenes. It's the award for the engineer of the year. The biggest attraction for engineers to come to Formula E is really to have an opportunity to participate in one of the biggest technology revolutions in history. Radio check from Intercom. Copy. Radio check. Copy. Radio check from the Isle Mitch. One minute to start. All five lights are on. The Modis Engineer of the Year Award is uh, rewarding all the engineers behind the scenes on the teams. We came out with a short list of three candidates and we had a jury of experts voting for the best engineer of the year. Let's meet the nominees. First up, it's BMW i Andretti systems engineer, Andre Costa. Mate, good job, keep going. Pick to the target, capitalize on any opportunities. Good job, Andre, keep pushing. The 
next nominee was Sam Bird's race engineer, Stephen Lane. Good job, Bank. Ice forward. That's good pace. Next up, it's Alberto Blanco, Mahindra Racing's race strategy engineer. Oh, oh he's gone from that oh, no, He's gone so wide. wide, but he holds on to win in Marrakesh. Ladies and gentlemen, Alberto Blanco from Mahindra Racing is the winner of the Modus Engineer of the Year Award. Congratulations, Alberto. Well deserved. Now, whilst behind every car, there is a huge team of people making everything run, it's up to one person to make the biggest difference on the track. Formula E has some of the best drivers in the world. And the fact that this season we've seen nine different winners from eight different teams is a testament to that. The title race was closer than ever, but one man rose above the rest. for the world premiere of uh, the movie, and we go green. Loaded clear, Jeff, loaded clear. And we go green in Berlin. Brave stuff there from jean eric Van. This time up the inside into Costa. That's how he got through into third place. It's pole position for jean eric Van. There's the win for jean eric Van and Diaz de Chita. Van, jean eric Van will not score any points. Here comes John Eric Van, and he is a two times Formula E champion. We have done it again. What a weekend. Uh, double champion. Wow, oh, cannot believe it. Massive, massive thank you for my team, my family, because they've been, they've been the best this year. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm not really prepared for a speech, to be honest. Uh, I mean, how to say, this weekend has been uh, quite intense, uh, a little bit stressful as well. I mean, the first thing I have to do, I think, is thank my team. Uh, not because I have to, but really because I really think it. I'm so proud of every engineer, every mechanics, all the staff. Uh, my teammate, Andre, uh, we were able to really turn this team into a winning machine. Another big thank you is to Alejandro Agag um, and of course all this team, Alberto and all the guys that you basically thanked uh, to make Formula E what it is today. Without Formula E, I would, you know, my career would not have had the turn that, uh, that it had. Then last, the guys that I have to think are all the drivers because I may have won this year but it was by far the most exciting, the most difficult season I ever had in my life because of all of you guys. I'm not gonna name all the drivers, but... <laughs> you made my life really tough. <laughs> God. So, thank you all, the competition, Formula E, my team, to make Formula E what it is today, so massive, massive thank you. Congrats again to Jeff. What a performance. Ha, action! We've got one more award to give out on this episode, and arguably, it's the most important of them all. Hola, street racers. So this is it. It's my turn to control the show. Welcome to the beautiful city of Paris. So we're here in New York City. New Mexico City. Welcome to Rome. In the buzzing city of Marrakech. In tropical Sanya. This is Berlin. We're here in my hometown of Monaco. A, A city, city of street, street racing. racing. So let's see what's coming your way. 
At every race this season, we've had a driver take over and guests present the show. It's not as easy a job as you might think. Being a TV presenter requires quite a different skill set than being a professional racing car driver. It's my... <laughs> Formerly... Uh, let's see what we have this... Oh, I, just, I just made it too much. Stick around. After the break. Oh, that was so good. All the guys did a great job. And to honor their efforts, we asked you to vote on who you thought did the best job. With the amount of votes going into the thousands, it was a pretty close call between BMW driver Antonio Felix da Costa and the team effort of the Audi Sport drivers, Lucas and Daniel. But the smooth style of Antonio clearly paid off. Congrats, Antonio. Cheers. On the 4th of August, 2019, the motorsport world lost one of its biggest personalities. Jean-Paul Drio was the founder of motorsport team DAMS and was instrumental in the early days of Formula E, bringing Renault on board and forming the E-DAMS team, which continues to compete today in partnership with Nissan. He helped many young drivers in their careers, giving them a step up and a chance to prove themselves in an incredibly competitive world. He had a huge effect on everyone in Formula E, and several people chose to share their fond memories. So let's take one last look at how the season came together. Wait for those five red lights. And we go green in Abderia, Marrakech, Santiago, Mexico City, Hong Kong, Sanya, in Rome, Paris, Monaco, Berlin, Bern. We go green in New York City. Very, very quick lights out. Carving through the field. This is a risky one. He's done oh, it. Oh, what a move. Really drove me into the wall. What on earth has gone on? Do not take your teammate out. Oh, and Lotter has got damage. Flat tire. Careful, mate, careful. It's not correct, but this is wrong. Never saw that in my life, man. I mean, what is wrong with the drivers? Well, that's a big airborne crash for Nelson Piquet. Yes, good boy. Right, eyes forward. Oh, that was a mad move. Yeah, my car is broken. The grassy goes for it. Push, 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 yes, yes. The grid is set. We are about to go racing in Brooklyn. And we go green in New York City. And Fern! Oh. And Jean Eric Fern will not score any points. And Sebastian Buemi with his first win of the season. Robin Flights to take the victory in New York City. Here comes Jean Eric Fern, two times champion. We've done it again, boys. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. What a season. Now the racing season may be over, but here on Street Racers, we'll be bringing you all the stories during the off-season. We'll give you the inside scoop on the new teams, new drivers, and new city racetracks. Plus the very best from the worlds of tech, gaming, music, and culture. We're fully charged and ready to go.